Hey everybody, Corey here. Uh, another video about the Annette ET5. Just some findings. Um, so I took it apart, right? And it's interesting. I don't know if this is just how it is with uh, this style of printer, whether it uses aluminum extrusion, but the, uh, the screws that hold the hot end on, there's no bolt back there. And so it's literally, when it's fully put on there, it's only being held on by tension, which that really sucks in my opinion. Um, so I'll probably be making some modifications here in the future. Um, I could not get it to tighten at first. And so I took it out and I just tested it. Cause yeah, it's really annoying when you do this, it's gonna rub against it. Now the other one rubs worse and actually created a small indentation you can see right there. Um, and so when you were sliding it back and forth, it created that very fine scoring that you saw there along the extrusion. So, I mean, again, a cheap printer, but that's kind of a bummer. One other thing, uh, I just wanted to see kind of the type of hot end they had. And yeah, it's nothing super nice or anything. Uh, the Bowden tube, you can see it goes really far back. You can, I don't know if you'll catch it on camera, but there's a little black dot on the Bowden tube and you can see the the cutting from where it gets snipped in in here and held on but it's quite long and uh let's see if i can do this with one hand but basically let me just fix it and then i'll bring the camera back out when it is fully in there uh like that i mean it's running real up close in there so i mean i'll probably be up upgrading the hot end at some point in the future as well but just so people are aware uh, and have a very clear picture of what they're buying uh, I was very suspicious this would be the case, and I would have been actually very pleasantly surprised if it wasn't. But yes, you're dealing with not uh, all metal hot end. You've got Bowden tube going all the way up, basically right to the tip, um, which isn't bad. My, my Annette A8 has that as well, um, but maybe I'll be getting something slightly better in the future um, as an upgrade, or I might just take off my, I have an E3D hot end on my Annette A8 that I might swap out onto this thing. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, I'm gonna put this back together and try and get it to sit nicely. Aside from these two bolts um, being really loose and having a really hard time getting them to connect, um, there's nothing quite wrong with it at all, really. It's all pretty nice and well put together. So yeah, just wanted to show another update and sorry if these are really small formats and very short, but this is a hands-on experience. So there you go.